In this video, we want to prove that the minimum of A, B, and C is equal to the minimum of the minimum of A and B and C. So let's assume that the minimum of A, B, and C is A. So let's work on the right side here. The minimum of A and B becomes A since the minimum of A, B, and C is A. So now this is just the minimum of A and C, which a and C is A since A is a minimum of A, B, and C. And so this completes a proof for this case. The second case will be if the minimum of A, B, and C is B. So now when we're looking at the minimum of A and B, clearly B is smaller than A and C. So that is B. So you're taking the minimum of B and C, which we said is B. And so B is the minimum of of A, B, and C. Finally, let's assume that the minimum of A, B, and C is C. So now when we look at the minimum of A and B, it doesn't really matter what the minimum is because if A is less than B, we'll say that that turns into the minimum of, well, A and C. And so the minimum of A and C is C because C, we said, is the smallest of the three. If B is less than A, we'll have the minimum of B and C, which still, that's gonna be C. So it doesn't really matter which one it is. So if this turns into C, which is the minimum of A, B, and C. And so that completes the proof.